This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. I've got a uh, story for you guys. And uh, pretty much it's pretty much a, uh, pretty much ghosts at work. You know, I I used to live in a small town called Sligman, Arizona. It's up in northern Arizona. And um, I had an opportunity to uh, work where my uh, my dad and my godfather worked. It was a, it's a uh, lime plant. They mine uh, limestone. And um, I had an opportunity working there for the summer and um as we uh you know as we work in everything and and uh we you know you hear a lot of you know people are telling all you know, different stories about you know the the plant and you know how it was you know built under you know or built rebuilt moved and and uh you know we didn't think nothing of it and uh well, we had a big old wind that kicked up and and uh, blew a lot of trash around. And the next day, part of our job was to you know pick up the trash that was you know side of the road and everything. And and uh, me and my friend Tyler and and, and one of my friends uh, Stephanie, one of the coworkers, we. Uh, we were picking up the trash and and uh went by the old quarry where they had a, a bunch of uh um piled up rocks and uh and, tr- and chat and you know and and uh it was it wasn't uh, windy or nothing and and um we we're picking up trash, and we started hearing uh, voices. And um, we were asking, you know, I was asking, did you guys hear that? And he goes, oh, maybe it's just a wind. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. It's, you know, not really wind. And, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, it had this little, you know, breeze, slight breeze come up. I'm like, oh, maybe. Because sometimes you hear the wind coming off the, you know, the the piles or or what have you and and um we were walking along and we started hearing again like voices like you know did you get that or you know and um you know move that over here and or you know different different voices hello and and I'm like we, we, you got to hear uh, uh, Stephanie's like well you got to hear that and I'm like well I did and Tara's like yeah I did too didn't it sound like uh, move that over here and I'm like yeah I thought I heard someone say you know got that and and uh, we started hearing and and like well that's kind of weird and we didn't think nothing of it and uh and we didn't tell no one and uh then uh uh after work and everything we uh you know I uh went in the truck with me and my godfather and my dad and we were going home and I I I, you know, he was asking me what we did and everything. I said, well, we're just picking up trash and nothing much, and, you know, and, uh, you know, shoveling out the old, you know, lime out of the, uh, you know, the, one of the silos. And, and, this, and I asked him, I said, um, is there any way that the uh, plant could be haunted, you know? And, 
they looked at each other and started laughing. I said, why? I was like, well, we went to uh, where the bunch of uh, old pile of chat is, and we started hearing voices and uh, saying, you know, move that over here or, you know, and, and you know, uh, got that. And so they looked at each other and was like, well, yeah, that, that spot's haunted all the time. And uh, Jake's like, Jake, my godfather, is like, yeah, so there's been a lot of voices over there. And in fact, there used to be an old silo uh, when they moved the plant over. They used to have one of the silos over there. And and um, one guy ended up uh, um, was uh, doing some uh, maintenance up there, and, and he uh, fell to his death. And... Um, they said his uh, spirit's supposed to be over there, and a couple others. And I said, and plus, uh, didn't you, uh, um, didn't you even see the uh, the uh, little cemetery we have over here, or by the the plan? And when we walked in, like, we had, you guys have a cemetery? So yeah, you didn't know this? I'm like, no. I said, well, that's kind of haunted too, because all the the bodies they didn't know what to do with, and. They didn't have any family, so they started, you know, burying them there, and and uh, and um, like really, yes, I haven't seen it. So I'll show you where, you know, you know where it's at when well, we go to work tomorrow, and and we went, you know, went to work, uh, or we worked just uh, we worked that day and came back, and they showed me where the old cemetery was, and. They had uh, some gravestones and you know some of the guys' names and and um, I'm like wow this is weird and he goes yeah it gets kind of creepy sometimes you definitely hear some voices and and they you know they di- you know thought nothing of it and um, and I uh, had an opportunity to go back to the cemetery and me and my dad de- my me and my mom my mom's a genealogy buff and. And uh, you know, doing uh, genealogy for the town and a couple of names for the couple of the families, we were looking at the headstones and and uh, my mom and I would start hearing some voices and and uh, I start hearing this, hi. I'm like, hello. My mom's like, what? Hi, hi to you. I'm like, no, I saw her. someone said hi. I says, oh, okay. And uh, then um, my mom know, or heard a heard a voice saying, uh, you know, uh, you know, get out. And I'm like, did you tell us to get out? Did you tell me to get out? And I'm like, no, I didn't say anything. And. Um, it, it is kind of creepy, and my mom started getting a little creeped, and and um, yeah, I was I was getting kind of creepy too. And we weren't able to. We swear hurried up, couldn't find hardly any names, and um, but uh, it was it was pretty interesting, and and um, and this uh, place I work down here in Phoenix, I work at a steel mill, and. Um, the uh, lot right next door to us used to be a um, a uh, swap meet, and they, it ended up being closed down for a lot of years because there was a mass shooting. Um, there was a, a big old crowd, and some guy came out with a a gun, and you know. Uh, three officers were killed. Five people, uh, five uh, regular people were killed, and and um, you know, and they um, they closed down. Well, some of it's like a uh, used car lot now. And I end up downloading. As funny thing is, I'm I'm trying to pursue it a little bit further. Is I end up downloading an EMF uh, recorder on my phone and as you know I was playing around with it and everything and and mostly when you turn it on it'll 
just be on the green between, I say, 45 to 55, you know, on the green. And there's a couple of spots where I went, and uh, it went all the way to the red, and like, to, you know, hundreds or more, then I'll stay there for a little bit, and you gradually go down. And this happened a couple more times, and and my and my friend was, you know, I turned it on, and I was, you know, going, you know, I was sort of uh, hanging out the window, you know, trying to see as we walked, you know, drove by, and so what are you doing? I said, well, I'm trying to check something out, see if there's any, you know, spirits around, and and um, I said, well, slow down a little bit. He said, no, I, I, I don't want to do that because I'm sensitive. I don't want to give myself nightmares. So, but uh, I know I'll say even that EMF record has been fluctuating. And I know there's something there somewhere, but I haven't had a chance to, you know, take a look at it. But um, I'm going to try to see if I can one of these times and... And um, I thought maybe you like this story, and you know, I appreciate all you do, and and thank you for all you do, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and take care. Bye. This has been a grave confession from the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free eight 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 ghost 13 that's 888-446-7813